morning folks again uh, continual remake of probably all of my uh, videos concerning every aspect of business so and aspects of business always have to do with personality too so uh, no hiding that fact and this one I believe will be on returns it'll probably be a very short one because I don't have one but because of who I am and I like introducing new children and younger people who may not have heard, have heard some of this music um, to music it also helps relax me I do not own the rights to any, use any of these videos I should say the music from um, and most of them I only know the names of the music I don't recall I mean I've heard them all my life I don't recall the artists and they are artists folks oh my goodness um, there's aspects of me that you'll learn through these videos also they are going to be under five minutes preferably three minutes and less so let's get on with the introduction and the disclaimer for the music titled don't let the rain come down folk art folk, folk music I hope I have it set properly. I'm not sure I do. That is not it. Oh, come on, quit that. <laughs> My system has been giving me a headache lately. Anyway, shipping uh, returns. Now, folks, truthfully, in the past, I have made the mistake of shipping wrong I have strong people. I pay for that. I take my time. I find them. I think there's only one I haven't found, and that was the queen, because the, let's say the shipper, um, the shipping company, massive company, lost it. Um, the only time I have had something break was my fault, and but it was also because of the shipper's fault. Because the box wasn't damaged, I couldn't claim it was them. So I have to take the responsibility. I paid for it without problem, without thought. You buy insurance. You always buy insurance through me. I will not ship medium mail. You buy insurance. And if that means you do not buy it, that's up to you and that's understandable. I I come from a penny society myself. Um, I've built this on pennies over 20 years. Literally. Not nickels and dimes the way you hear people say pennies. So I understand the costs. I do. And if you don't want the item, you don't want to pay the shipping or the um, insurance fee. If the item comes to you and the box is damaged or in many cases dropped from three foot by the shipper in front of the buyer, it's their fault. I take pictures. I know my items. I touch and look at every one of them. Eyes. I don't take guff. I don't give guff. I don't take responsibility for other people's actions, company or otherwise. So I do. I, if it's my fault, I will pay for it. I don't have items like items to replace items with, so I have to pay you exactly what you paid me, shipping and everything that you paid me in the exact same way as you paid me. So that's pretty much it. 
if you receive an item, you better check first to make sure the box is good and not damaged at all. Take pictures if it is. If that shipper drops it from three foot high and they've done it more than once, note it down because it ain't my fault. That is another part of the song. Listen very carefully. Love y'all. I do. I don't want to ever hear anybody saying the shipping company did this. I wish I could change them back to who they were decades ago. I can't. They can't. So, um, that's pretty much it on returns. And I'm going to bend over backwards. I have worked literally weeks and months on end finding out what happened to deliveries. That is not my job, but that is my belief. And that is why, one reason why you can trust me. As you learn me deeper, I think you'll agree. I hope you do. I hope I don't disappoint you or anyone. I hope you sound.